the Harryford Club Handicap Hurdle is next. It's a three mile hurdle race, a very low grade three mile hurdle race, one nought to a hundred. And Daniel Garcia is at the top for Matt Cooper, Duparque, Darren Thompson, Cavo Doro, Martin Leader, Bumbly Breeze, Alex Cherry, and Seminole Wood. Alex Cherry, look at those four figures. Cavo Doro will do well to get round or finish third. Duparque will finish eighth or ninth, but can't because there's only five in it. I don't think they'll want a race between them. And away and racing. And this goes to show as they get to the first, you can win a Grand National winning trainer one day. And the next day, you've got a horse in a nought to a hundred hurdle that won't settle. So they've nipped off the Hereford for this one. I think this is the home of the electric fence, if I remember rightly. We'll soon see. It's either here or Worcester. I think it's here. It's Deparco's in the lead from Cavo Doro, who was an absolute superstar in my trials over three miles, hurdles and fences, especially fences. Hasn't managed to get round, I don't think, this season. Constantly falling over both sets of obstacles in the game, so good in, in the league, so goodness knows. And that's happened. They get over the second of the 15. Alex Cherry's got the back two. Bubbly Breeze in Seminole World. It's a tale of, tale of, it's a tale of two trainers. It's a tale of two different types of season in this race, really, because you've got Alex Cherry, who's got the two at the back, and you've got me. And we've both had really poor seasons compared to what we've been doing in recent years. We've picked up the odd win, the odd decent win, but we've not got anywhere near the volume of winners that we normally get and a lot of that is down to the fact that a lot of people came in in that middling sort of ground and took the those winners that we were sort of like getting a lot of and getting shared out amongst more people now the top boys are still dominating but then there's the electric fence and some of us were picking up a lot of the next ones Darren Thompson was one um, David Robertson as well Starting to ramble now, but I know what I mean. And then those numbers have been spread out across all the people. People like James Shea and Daniel French, who came back, and then John Morgan, who had a bigger stable than normal. And Jim Murray as well, although he seems to have disappeared again. And that could be why we've not done so well, numbers wise. But on the other hand, Matt Cooper is having a tremendous second season. And Darren Thompson, although he may have been down on numbers earlier on, had an absolute stellar week at Cheltenham last week. And yesterday he took the Grand National, so... Who shows you? Who knows what it'll be like next season? They get over the seventh. And De Parquet, who I'm sure was not loaded into the league to be a runner on week 11 in a 0-100 to hurdle. And to be fair, I don't suppose any of these were... Cavo Doro is second. Daniel Garcia is third. Probably Breeze and Seminole were the back two. I not speak for anybody else, but I expected Cavo Doro to be over at Liverpool this week in the Betfred Bowl or something before the season started. After winning last week's Cheltenham Gold Cup. <laughs> yeah, we can all dream, can't we? Anyway, De is in front. Cavo Doro in second. Daniel Garcia back in third, probably reached fourth, and Seminole Word is the back marker. And well strung out. I was going to say they're strung out like three mile chases, but they probably all are three mile chases, which is why they're racing in a three mile 0 to 100 hurdle. Mr. Parquet in front. Cavo Doro second. Daniel Garcia third, probably reached fourth, and Seminole Word in fifth. Oh, skipping over number nine. Still on their feet. Oh, Grey got landed with a two horse race yesterday. They get over the tenth. Cavo Doro getting closer to the leader. Two horse race where one of them falls as well. That's a real sort of nightmare. That part of it is sort of like thinking, oh, I wonder what will happen if the other one falls. Or is it it's sort of coded so that can't happen? So you, what, what would happen? I mean, would, would the race just stop or the stream go off? What would happen? Has anybody ever seen it happen? That's interesting to know. Put it in the comments if you've had it in your game where you've had a race where nothing's finished. Anyway, they get over the 11th. The park is in front. Cavo Doro on the outside in second. Get back to Bubbly Breeze who's gone past Daniel Garcia. Similar words, still the back marker. The electric fence is turned on. 
possible to stop people getting out as much as getting in. This is the fair on offer, but it's De Parque in front from Cavo Doro in second. Probably, probably Breeze is back in third, being scrubbed along. And Daniel Garcia and Seminole Wood might do well to win the next race. And it's De Parque in front. Pretty much lead all the way. Ought to be the best horse in the race, really. Certainly got the best stable represented in the race. And it gets over the 13th. Cavo Doro over it in second. Probably Breeze in third. Coming down to the second last. Just two more flights to get over. De Parque. Oh, Darren Thompson. Over it in front. Cavo Doro jumped it quickly in second. And is now coming through to get closer to De Parque. De Parque still the leader, though. With a foot and a half to go and one flight to get over. Du Parquet from Cavo Doro and then Bubbly Breeze about five lengths back starting to close. And De Parquet kicks on again as they get to the final flight. De Parquet, looking like he's probably only got to jump it. Gets over it nicely. Cavo Doro over it in second. Bubbly Breeze over it in third. It's going to be Du Parquet. Cavo Doro I mean one last lunge towards the line. Du Parquet needs a line to come. Here comes Cavo Doro. It's close, but I think De Parquet held on. I think I stayed second, which seems to be my. Favourite position to finish lately. Uh, Josh feels these days. That's a second. And it's De Parque that wins it. Oh, Darren Thompson. Cavo Doro. Second. For Marty Leadham. Third was Alex Cherry's Bubbly Breeze. With Daniel Garcia in fourth. For Matt Cooper. And Seminole Word. Or Alex Cherry was back in fifth.